guess what? Oh my goodness. It is present day from our sponsor, my girlfriend's quilt shop for our cuties. Let's check and see what we have. Hey everyone, Kristen Sam here, and it is time to start our July cuties. I know we are behind on it. I'm really sorry about that. Our sponsor actually didn't have one specific fabric and it was on back order through the manufacturer. So they let us know that they were gonna be delayed on it and we have all of July to catch up. So let's go ahead and see what we have from our sponsor. Our sponsor is My Girlfriend's Quilt Shop for the cutie. So keep in mind, we finished January through June of our cutie, so now we're gonna be starting on the next six months. So let's see what we have. Oh yeah, so the first thing that we absolutely need, and this I think is on back order. Hopefully you pre-ordered it from our sponsor. It is the CD and booklet of July through December. So all of the projects, all of the designs, all of the table mats for July through December, the tabletop cuties is in this book. Um, and you could contact our manufacturer and see when they're expecting to get some more in. I think they're currently out, but I'm sure that they're on the list to get more. If you didn't pre-order, we've been talking about this one for a couple of months now. So hopefully you already pre-ordered it. So July through December, the book and the CD. The CD is always inside the book. I've actually had people ask me that um how they got the how do you get the cd and if you're getting the book without the cd then you're buying from an unreliable source so be careful about that because the cd does come in the book all right so that's the first thing that we need the machine embroidery cd and booklet and then we need our fabric kits so it looks like they sent me july and august because they were delayed so you can definitely get both of those now this is the fabric kit um, let's see, this is July. This is our fabric kit for July. So they have this available on their website right now, available, already all cut and ready to ship to you. And they, there's also the August one. Isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness, so fun. All right, so both of these are ready and shipping right now. There's also probably a thread kit. If you look on their website, on My Girlfriend's Quilt Shop, there's an affiliate link. In fact, I'll add the affiliate link for our group right here. Um, and I've gotta get you those coupon codes. Hold on, I forgot. All right, sorry about that. So the coupon code for the fabric kit. So if you buy the entire fabric kit for all of the months, you can buy six months at one time. And that has a different coupon code. I will add that in the video notes. That one you can get and it will come with free shipping. So they will still ship you one per month, but you will get free shipping on all of them if you buy the bundle. It's the whole bundle of fabric kits, July through December or you can get the individual ones like I showed. All right, this is the August one and this is the July. That is so darn cute. Oh my goodness. Very fun. So each of those, so the July fabric kit, this one, the coupon code is Kristen Cutie July. C-R-I-S-T-I-N C-U-T-I-E J-U-L-Y. Kristen Cutie July is our coupon code for my girlfriend's quilt shop for the July fabric kit. And then for the August fabric kit, the coupon code because there are different coupon codes for each of the items just like if you buy the the bundle pack or if you buy the um, cd booklet all of them have different coupon codes so this one is aug kristen cutie so a u g c r i s t i n c u t i e aug like august Kristen Cutie. That's the coupon code for the August fabric kit. And if you buy both of them together, they'll ship them both together right now because they are currently available. That'll save on shipping since they were delayed. All right, and then also in my kit from our sponsor is the project batting. You need this. I go through this so quickly. So you need to make sure to have your project batting on hand for our cuties, all right? And like I said, they very likely have a thread kit as well. And so you can find that on their website. Um, the 
the uh, what is it the fusible backing fusible backing you can get that um, the light mesh cutaway that's what we use in our hoop so all of the items are available currently right now at um, our sponsor my girlfriend's quilt shop except that CD book like I said it is on back order currently so we're gonna start this let me tell you about the plan so we have falling for autumn we're working on that um, we're just about to start that but before we start it i'm going to do the prep video for that and then i'm going to jump right into july cutie since we're a little bit behind that's going to be top priority i'm going to spend a week making the tutorials for that project so we're going to start this right away so make sure to get your supplies and then we will jump into falling for autumn once july is done but all of july through december all of these table toppers i'm going to take a break from our current projects and work on those so every month you will have a tutorial or actually several tutorials for the cutie step by step just like we always do so um, get your cd booklet get your fabric kits and let's get started on our july through december cuties Oh, and one quick note, I didn't get the thread kit this time. And so I will add the thread colors that I'm gonna use for both July and August underneath the video so that you can be prepared. There's a lot of colors that are very similar, so use something in your stash similar. It won't be a problem at all. Or a great way to build up your stash is to get that thread kit from my girlfriend's quilt shop. So I will add a link to, or I will add an affiliate link to my girlfriend's quilt shop for the thread, but I will also add information on what thread colors I'm going to use. I will most likely use Glide so that if that's what you have in your stash, you'll be all set. Um, but that affiliate link is a general link and it just takes you to my girlfriend's quilt shop. And then from there you type in cuties and you'll see this, the, all the information, all of the fabric kits and the thread kits and whatever you need for this project. Hey everyone, so I'm going to jump right into prepping my fabrics for the July cuties and I wanted to go over just a couple things. So consider this your prep video in addition to present day video. So just real quick, a couple of items. So on most everything is here on page seven, you'll have the guide of all of the different fabrics that we need. And I wrote myself a couple of little notes. So on the third fabric down, it is these cherries, all right, the cherries on red fabric. And this is for our outer borders. And it says four pieces at two and a half by 18. And I recommend two and a half by 20, all right? I always like to do them a little longer because I actually had them come out short one time. And so ever since then, I always cut them a little bit longer and then I quilt them. And once I put them together, then I cut them down. So you, I'm sure you've seen that in the other videos but so for your outer borders this fabric instead of 18 inches long I recommend four pieces at two and a half by 20 all right and then let's see on the fabric scrap where it says uh, the triangles will sub cut those make sure to stabilize those all right I really recommend stabilizing all of your main background fabrics I like to do applique pieces too that's completely optional totally up to you I do it though but at least your background fabrics and those triangles are big so do that first before we sub cut and I'll go over more of that when we get to the triangles um, so the other one is there is a fabric scrap let me find it it is a green fabric right there sorry all right um it's actually a white fabric green i guess it's kind of i don't know um outlined of green uh, shapes on it all right so this one is for our corner blocks and I like to cut my corner blocks to three by three instead of two and a half by two and a half like it has in the directions this is probably a five by five piece so I probably won't be able to but if yours is a little bit bigger cut it a little bit bigger it will just make it a little easier in case it pulls in from the the quilting at all but I am going to stabilize mine too I haven't yet but I'm going to stabilize this to help ward off the fact that it might pull in a little bit but if you have some extra if yours is a little bit bigger I would cut them a little bit larger by three by three would be perfect a half inch larger um, and actually I was just looking and I have some extra from my OSD quilt so I might just use that and it's already stabilized Hmm, I might just do that. But anyway, three by three is what I recommend for your corner blocks and then we'll cut them down um, after quilting them. 
but if you don't have enough and just the two and a half by two and a half, it will work. It absolutely will work. It just makes it easier because you can um, tack it down. All right. And then for our inner border, so this one is a yellow with darker yellow uh, designs on it. And this one is for our inner border A, inner border B, and our binding. So a couple things I wanna point out on this. On the inner borders, it says to cut the inner border A at two pieces of one and three quarters by 10 and a half inches. I recommend by 12. I'm gonna cut mine to 12, because again, it's a border. I like them a little bit longer, just in case, just to make sure you have enough, all right? So I'm doing inner border A, two pieces at one and three quarters by 12, all right? And then the other one, inner border B, that one they have in the book on page seven at two pieces at one and three quarters by 13. I'm going to cut mine to 15. I'm going to cut them just a little bit longer. So inner border B, two pieces, one and three quarter by 15 is what I recommend. And the other thing on this one, I am going to stabilize those border pieces, but the binding I am not going to. I have done it by mistake before and it's not a huge big deal, but it is quite a bit easier um, to get those mitered corners if you do not stabilize your binding fabric. So our binding fabric on here, there's two pieces at two and a half times width of fabric and one piece that's two and a half by 20. I always just end up doing three Three pieces that are two and a half by width of fabric and those I will take away I'll cut those right from the start to make sure that I don't stabilize those and then I'll write I'll stabilize the rest for those inner borders all right that's my recommendation and I think there was only one other thing to note in here um, and I'm just jumping around because all the rest is fine I'm just pointing out little tips for some of the parts so on the uh, backing fabric it says in the book that it is this fabric but um, I received a uh, golden silky solid so I'm just pointing out in case you get your package from our sponsor my girlfriend's cool shop and you're like hey why I got the wrong thing or I have a mistake they they often change out the back back fabric and that works totally fine for me so um, it is mine is a yellow silky solid a golden yellow and that we want 24 by 24 and again I don't stabilize this some people do though so that's totally up to you um, but I'm not gonna stabilize my back fabric all right and all the others I do stabilize them everything not not the felt of course but everything else I do stabilize them and that's my personal preference all right so that was the big thing with the fabrics just a couple little minor um, changes and then I want to talk to you about the thread real quick. So I went ahead and I chose my thread. You can choose whatever works for you. And I believe, I'm not absolutely certain because I didn't receive one, but I think my girlfriend's quilt shop has a little thread pack. They like to do um, little thread packs to be able to help build up your stash and, and some of the um, colors that you may not already have. So I picked straight from my stash and I will add a listing underneath this video of the ones that I'm using in case you wanna use the same ones. Keep in mind that there are lots of them. So like on the red, I'm using candy apple. There's one that is very similar. So, you know, just use something um, that works for you. And the way that I did it is I matched it up against my fabric to decide um, what I thought would look nice and also to stand out just a little bit. So like on this yellow, I chose Dijon there I have a yellow that is almost the same color as this yellow but I wanted one that's going to stand out a little bit for the quilting I want to be able to see it so I chose just a tad darker so I'm using Dijon um, and then there's a couple that I have to say that the the little um, thread the little thread color pieces here i found a little confusing they're they're a little bit hard they're always a little hard because they're so small but like this pink maybe it's not supposed to be pink it looks pink to me um there's no pink in the the design that i've seen so i don't know what that is so i just went ahead and i matched up with my threads or my threads with my fabrics to see what would work well and then i wrote little notes of what i'm going to use them on 
Um, so just real quick, I have a white for those those big triangles, all right, the quilting on the white, I'm using white. And then for the bottle, there's a little bottle, um, a little like lemonade or soda bottle or something. And for the outline of that, I chose Magic Mint, all right, that's what I chose. Um, and like I said, it looks like there's kind of a tealish color there. So that's the color that I chose. Um, and then... I to told you about the candy apple. Um, there is three different browns on here. It looks to me like three different browns. And so instead of trying to match this tiny little box, I matched against the fabrics that I want to match and the colors that I want. So like the, um, the chicken, I think it's a chicken. I don't eat meat, so heaven forbid that I get it wrong, but it looks like a chicken. Uh, a le like a chicken leg. I chose a light tan and it, it, it's called light tan. <laughs> light tan for that. And then um, for the green. So there's green on top of the strawberries. And I'm also, I'm leaning toward, I'm probably going to make my corner blocks green as well so that they'll stand out. In the book, it shows using white and you can absolutely do that, but I like it to stand out a little bit. So I'm probably gonna use green on this as well for those corner blocks. And I chose aloe, all right, aloe for my green. And like I said, it's also the top of the strawberries. And then, for let's see oh for the around the picnic basket on here it kind of looks gray to me um but my fabric is brown so i went along with this is how i did it i chose this is my fabric for my the picnic baskets that was sent to me and it is shown in the the guide as well and so i chose one that's going to stand out i want the the part around the picnic basket and the handles to stand out so i chose this one and it is a brunette it's called brunette all right and then i have a gray oh that was for the end of the chicken leg so the the end of the chicken leg you could use white but it's going to be on that white fabric and so i chose gray i chose a light gray so i chose sterling for that and then i'll need to decide what color i want my ants but i will almost definitely use a color here in the guide they used red um but I'm kind of leaning toward brown or red. I haven't decided. We'll decide when we get there. But those are the colors I'm using, two, four, six, eight colors, and I will list them underneath this video as well. Those are my quick tips and tricks on prepping and getting ready. I'm going to start doing all of my prepping fabrics now and then jump right in to this July Cuties because we're already late on this, and that's okay. It's totally all right. We're going to do it. We're going to have fun together. So let's go ahead and get started. So don't forget, we're supposed to work on our goal. And I actually went for an impromptu four mile walk today that I hadn't planned on doing. I didn't have any water, I was wearing sandals. It was really a mistake. I've got little blisters all over my feet and cuts and really bad idea. So I probably won't do my run tonight, but I don't know. But how are you doing with your goal? Hopefully much better than I did today. Um, I want to hear how you're doing with your goal. My goal is building strength. And so I've been running and lifting weights and doing lots of activities. I even went paddle boarding the other day or the night we went at night. It was super fun. So um, other than the impromptu hike, I, I want to hear how you're doing with, it wasn't a hike, it was just a walk, but through gravel and oh, big mistake. Anyway, how are you doing with your goal? And my shirt today, I love this one. It's really cute. I will try to add a picture if I can find one. Um, it says I washed up like this and there is a little outline of a mermaid. You can't really see her. I should have done her darker, but I washed up like this, like a mermaid. How cute is that? And it's on a um, shirt. I think it's either anvil or canvas. I will add a link. It's from Amazon. It's a great shirt to embroider on and a really cute design. I think the design was from um, Hoop Mama. And if I find it, I will add a link for you. But it's a fun shirt with all the different pastel colors. I think it's so cute. I really like this one. Nice summer shirt. I'll add the information. 
Hey everyone, now that we are in the July through December book of our Cuties Table Toppers, I just want to show you quickly all the information that is underneath the video, since our other one is from last December. So open up any web browser and go to Kristen Creates on YouTube. From there, you can see all the videos. And I also want to point out, here's the playlist tab. And the playlist tab makes it so that you can see all of the the certain projects that we have worked on. All right, all any project that you're looking for a tutorial on, look in here for the specific project, including the Embrilliance Essentials tutorials. If you click on View Full Playlist down here at the bottom, a lot of people that are new to Embrilliance, we have a ton, like what is it, 114 videos. So if you scroll down to the very bottom, you can see the newer videos when we were just learning ourselves and it also has information on how to do the wording and to move things around and how to import your um, files to Embrilliance for the uh, fonts and such. So all of that information. So back to the Kristen Creates page. So right here, you can open up any video. So let's look for one that is from our um, cuties. So here's our last cuties when we did the ending of the June. So if you just click on one of the cuties videos, and like I said, you can also do it from the playlist. Either way will work fine. But from here, <clears throat> underneath the video, so it's running an ad right here um, and it will look a little different because I'm the owner of it. You won't have all of this information, but underneath the video, it's going to, let's see, right here. Oh, it's still running. This is a long ad. My goodness. So underneath the video, you can see that it says, click here to see links below the video. And then it starts to say, join the fun in our group project. And, and there's the video right here. I'm on a computer. So when I say under the video, I just mean under the video, right under here on a computer, on a phone. It's um, there's like an arrow on the right, I believe, and you click that and it has all the video description. So it's called a video description under the video. And so right here, see, it starts to tell you about the stuff that's under the video and then it says show more. So click show more and look at all the information that I have included under every video for you. All right, it has all of the links. It has the information about upcoming projects. It has our current um, affiliate link for our sponsor for our Cuties project. It has our coupon code and um, where to get the quilting bundle all of that information and then other supplies that people ask me about of um like the the packets to organize your fabrics all of that information is right below there it's also got our affiliate link for embrilliance essentials i am an affiliate with embrilliance essentials and i'm teaching a lot of embrilliance on most every video and then next up we have what's coming up next which is our falling for autumn and the glide thread colors are always listed all the information. I also include information about my shirts. I'm not wearing an embroidered shirt at the moment, but um, when I do, I include that information because I get a lot of questions about that. So all this information is under the video. So whenever I say under the video, it's literally just click that show more button and you'll see underneath the, the video, all the information. All right. And then if you are in the market for Embrilliance Essentials, I'm going to be showing that a lot. So here's the Embrilliance Essentials link right here. Click on that blue link. It brings you to Embrilliance Essentials and what it brings you to Embrilliance. And the program that I use is Essentials, the, the basic one. So right here, Product Essentials, or you can get it from the store. Either one of these goes to the same. It will take you to Embrilliance Essentials. You add it to your cart. There's no other information that you need to do. You just need to click on my link that is underneath the video um, or add it in yourself. Either way, it's embrilliance.com slash jam affiliates slash Kristen Creates. And that will put a little cookie on your computer saying that you are supporting Kristen Creates with your purchase. And you can get any of the items here if you're into um, digitizing you can do stitch artist the enthusiast program is the next one after essentials that has a little bit more abilities um, and that thumbnailer a lot of people love thumbnailer i haven't tried that yet but that's here as well so 
lots of lots of things there underneath the video all of those links and when you go to our link for my girlfriend's quilt shop right here this blue hyperlink you click on that and it brings you to their website and same thing it puts a little cookie on your computer it doesn't actually take you to the product so you would just go to the search bar and type in cuties or cuties 2 or whatever you're looking for um, for our project and see right there there is our July kit that we're going to be starting soon so this video just shows you how to find those links that are underneath every video I hope this helps